What's going on guys? So I need a little break from work. Got some downtime to give you a little tour of my place out here since a lot of you have been asking for that. So I'm in Spokane, Washington. I have a shop on 20 acres. So let me take the camera off my ugly face and show you this cool spot I got. So we're walking out the back of the shop right now. What I really wanted to show you guys is my grass. It's super green right now, I just mowed it. No, but honestly, I don't think I could be in a better spot out here. Got a nice view of the mountains. It's uh, just flat land, no trees at all. Actually, I got one tree right there. But uh, this is the front of the shop. Pit bike track is over here. You guys have seen that on the channel. Let me take you out here since this is my favorite spot on the whole plot of land. So much fun on this track. So it's pretty fresh right now. Just rebuilt it a couple weeks ago. So it's on a 150 by 150 foot square. When I first built this track, I used a front end loader like a Kubota. It took forever. It was like two weeks, I think, of uh, moving dirt and shaping. And then the last time around, I used a, a skid steer. So that worked out really good. And then out back, I've got a big bike track in progress. Got a big table here. Another double right there. Double out that way. So yeah, that'll be a fun track once it's done. You guys will see me building this on the channel as well. Another view of the shop house. So how this is set up is about two thirds of the square footage is shop space, which I love. And then the other third is a uh, living space. So a little apartment in there. So I bought this place about four years ago. Did a lot of cleanup around here, obviously built the tracks. And uh, so I'll give you a tour inside to give you a better idea of it. So my land goes pretty far up there. It's like a long skinny piece, mostly all field. Goes out back this way as well. So my ultimate plan is to have this pit bike track, which is done already, finish up the big bike track. And then over on this side, I left about 300 feet to the fence. Got a nice long strip here. And you guys are gonna call me crazy, but what I wanna do is build a straight rhythm track. So like a long, probably quarter mile track of just whoops jumps rhythm sections all that no corners at all so obviously to do all this i need a big dozer or some sort of big equipment so cat or john deere or any other equipment manufacturer if you're watching this here's your chance to sponsor the channel i think we could do some really cool things together so i'm out here on the big track thought i'd show you guys a little bit more of it since most of you guys are probably moto guys anyways so with flat land you got to create your own elevation that's kind of what i'm doing right here dug a big asshole can have some drainage on the side of it. That is the single that drops into the hole. We're standing on the second hill right here. So it's gonna be like gravity cavity way, maybe not quite as steep. But anyways, this leads, what the frick? What the heck is that? Just found that on the top of the second jump. So essentially I'm using about 10 acres of land out here for this track. So pretty excited to uh, finish this thing up someday. Now I'm really curious how these got here. I'm just gonna leave them right there. It's freaking nasty. We're walking into the back of the shop. You guys have seen the inside of the shop a million times, but while we're out here, thought I'd show you my little Subaru. It's a 2016 WRX. Bought it all stock with 8,000 miles on it. Absolutely love this car, wouldn't want anything else. Maybe a GTR or something, but my brother Devin went through and pimped it out pretty good when I was going through cancer treatment. Just kind of a surprise. Um, gift to me really cool video he did on that so he went through and did the wheels suspension um, headlights fog lights bunch of cool stuff on it Devin is one of the best car builders I know he does YouTube videos as well really good content you guys have to go check him out I'll have his channel linked down below in the description so that's the car can't forget about the sick lawnmower <laughs> Uh, inside the shop now. All right, so this is where I spend most of my time, inside the shop. I actually don't really spend much time in the house other than just to sleep and eat. So let's start up front right here. Um, just a bunch of equipment, nothing special. We've got a 92 Z50. I'm gonna restore that on the channel at some point. I don't think you guys have seen this one on the channel yet. It's a 1990 YSR50. It's like a uh, mini crotch rocket super cool bike actually how would i know i haven't ridden it yet they look fun it's a 50 cc two stroke um, needs some work so that'll be on the channel as well a uh, little xr80 project bike you guys have seen that one obviously the 250 that's world famous 
uh, the CR125. Over here is my 110, KLX 110L. That's what I ride on the pit bike track most of the time. Might do a little bit more work on that bike. And then the Super Jet. This is what I mostly ride during the summertime. Take it out to the lake and just go shred. That thing is a good time. Now all the shelving holds the stuff you see on the website. A bunch of shirts, hats, uh, scotch bright cleaning pads for days. Bunch of shipping boxes. Got my little office computer and office chair over here. Packaging table. So yeah, pretty pretty modest setup. Nothing too special. Doesn't really take much to run a, an online business. And now let's go check out the inside of the house. Got a little door that goes from the shop to the house. Make sure you take your shoes off. I'm a clean freak. Got a mud room here, and this goes into the bedroom, living room bathroom so yeah pretty cool place here I was pretty surprised when I walked in this place for the first time so I bought this place pretty much how it sits right here maybe did a little bit of paint and trim work nothing too crazy kitchen nice white cabinets love that clean look who that and then this is where all of the video editing takes place this computer here living room Pretty small setup, smaller the better, less to clean. And the sketchy set of stairs goes up into a loft. I've got some workout equipment up there, just mostly storage. Yeah, bathroom, not really gonna show you that, nothing too cool. And this is where all the business transactions take place. So yeah, the bedroom. So that is the house. Let's go back out to the shop where I belong. So that is the pad. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Now I know I'm gonna get the question, how did I afford a place like this? In my opinion, it's pretty modest, uh, nothing too special. I mean, it's got great location, got a shop to work in. Um, it's got the bare essentials of what I need. Absolutely love the place, but it's no mansion by any means. But to answer the question, just been working on dirt bikes my whole life. Since I was 12, I started a business parting out dirt bikes, so I take Whole bikes, sell them all in parts. This is kind of echoing here, let me move a little bit. Um, parted out bikes, sold all the parts on eBay, and that's pretty much what funded most of this. And then now my main source of income is what you guys see here on YouTube. And so I've pretty much shut down the parting out business and put all my focus here on content creation and building bikes, helping you guys out. And so yeah, I just pretty much been busting my butt since the day I was 12 or 13 and Honestly, this is like my dream, my dream place. That's why I have it. Like I've thought about um, owning a place like this for a long time. When I was a kid, I was like, I want to, I want a shop house. I want a shouse, you know, a uh, a place to work, a small place to live. So nothing too extra extravagant. Can't say that word. Anyways, that's the tour. I appreciate you guys joining me for it, and I will catch up with you all soon. Later.